I'm continuing experiments with octave fuzz circuits, so I have the same transformer and two diodes I was using in a previous video experiment. I have a sine wave for now coming in. That's the blue sine wave on the scope, 500 hertz. And that sine wave is going into the transformer. It gets full wave rectified with the two diodes. And the green trace is the result of that at twice the frequency, one kilohertz. Then I'm taking the original sine wave and the one octave up sine wave. They're going into a summing amplifier which is inverting. So this bottom trace is the result of combining the original sine wave with the new one an octave higher. And part of the experiment now, I'm going to be using this guitar effect equalizer as a signal booster. And in order to connect the breadboard circuit up, I made these audio jack tip ring sleeve quarter inch breakout boards with today's sponsor, PCB Way. So with these, these are switched jacks, so there's six pins, tip ring sleeve, and then tip ring sleeve switched. So on a guitar effect patch cord, we have signal on the tip, ground on the sleeve. When I plug this into the breadboard, I can plug in the cable and get the signal into or out of the breadboard. So the original sine wave coming in goes to this jack out into this EQ. Then if I want to control the level, the new amplitude signal comes back out into the breadboard. And then that goes into the transformer and gets rectified and is giving us this green signal at twice the frequency. So now I can just turn up the level on this pedal we can see the green double frequency signal is increasing and the resulting sum of both the original signal and the octave down here, we're going to start to see peaks showing up. As we have more amplitude to work with, we start getting extra components, making this a more complex waveform. And that's going to give us an octave effect on our guitar signal. I can turn it back down and even make it smaller than it started as. I just want it to be able to control everything like this. And I want to try a few configurations of feeding a guitar signal through this and then putting it into something like a fuzz or taking a guitar signal, running it through a fuzz and then taking the fuzz and feeding it through here to try to get an octave just so I can compare the results and work toward some sort of a final circuit later.